Human settlements, or the way that people live and organize themselves in communities, are constantly evolving and are shaped by a variety of social, economic, and environmental factors. Here are a few current trends in human settlement to consider. One major trend in human settlement is the continued growth of cities or urbanization. As more and more people move to urban areas, the demand for resources such as energy, water, and food increases. Urbanization can bring economic and cultural opportunities, but it can also put pressure on resources and infrastructure and contribute to environmental problems such as air and water pollution. One real example of urbanization is the city of Shenzhen, China. Shenzhen is a city located in the Guangdong province of China and has experienced rapid urbanization over the past few decades. Shenzhen was originally a small fishing village, but it was designated as China's first special economic zone, or SEZ, in 1980. This led to a massive influx of investment, and the city quickly transformed into a major manufacturing and commercial center. As a result of this rapid urbanization, the population of Shenzhen has grown from around 300,000 people in the 1980s to over 12 million people today. This has led to the construction of new housing, infrastructure, and commercial development, as well as changes in how the land is used. Urbanization in Shenzhen has brought about economic growth and improved living standards for residents, but it has also led to a number of negative impacts, such as traffic congestion, pollution, and strain on resources. The city continues to grapple with the challenges of urbanization as it adapts to its rapidly changing urban landscape. Another current trend in human settlement is a focus on sustainability and resilience, or the ability of communities to withstand and recover from environmental, economic, or social shocks. As we face increasingly pressing environmental and social challenges, it's important to consider how we can build communities that are not only livable, but also sustainable and resilient in the long term. Malmo, Sweden is a real-life example of a sustainable city which has been actively working to become more sustainable over the past few decades. One of the key areas in which Malmo has made progress is in sustainable transportation. The city has been working to reduce the number of cars on the road and to promote sustainable transportation by developing a comprehensive bike-sharing system and an extensive network of dedicated bike lanes and pedestrian walkways and investing in a light rail system. This has all helped to reduce traffic congestion and to improve the overall livability of the city. A related trend is the development of smart cities, or cities that use technology and data to improve the lives of citizens and to address challenges such as traffic congestion, air pollution, and resource management. Smart cities often prioritize sustainability, efficiency, and connectivity and can offer innovative solutions to complex problems. One example of a smart city is Songdo, South Korea. Songdo is a planned city built from scratch on reclaimed land near Incheon International Airport, with the goal of becoming a model for sustainable and innovative urban development. Songdo has implemented a smart transportation system that includes a network of sensors, cameras, and other technology to manage traffic and public transportation all in real time. This has helped to reduce traffic congestion and improve the efficiency of the transportation system. Songdo has also implemented a number of smart building solutions, such as energy efficient lighting and heating systems, and building management systems that allow residents to control their energy usage remotely in their own home. Trend number four is rural revitalization. While urbanization is a major trend, there is also a growing trend towards rural revitalization or the revitalization of small towns and rural areas. This can involve the development of new economic opportunities, such as tourism or agriculture, as well as the preservation of cultural and natural resources. One example of rural revitalization is the town of Alora in Ontario, Canada. The town, which is located in the rural area of Wellington County, has undergone a process of revitalization in recent years that has all helped to improve the quality of life for residents and to attract new businesses and residents to the area. Alora has been working to attract tourists to the area by promoting its natural and cultural attractions, such as the Alora Gorge, the Alora Quarry, and the Alora Festival. This has helped to create jobs and to increase income for residents. It has also been working to support small businesses by providing resources and assistance to help them start, grow, and thrive. This has helped to create jobs and increase income for residents there. These are just a few of the current trends in human settlement. By understanding these trends and the forces shaping the way that we live, we can work towards building more sustainable, livable, and resilient communities. Now here's a challenge for you. 
create an infographic poster about one of the current trends in human settlement that we've discussed. To complete this challenge, you'll need to research a current trend in human settlements and create an infographic poster that summarizes the key information in an engaging and visual way. Your poster should include a brief overview of the trend that you've chosen, key statistics and data related to the trend, images and or infographics like charts and graphs to help illustrate the information, some pros and or cons of this settlement trend, and make sure to include a title and the source where you got your data from. You can create it by hand or by using a design tool like Adobe Express. Once you've completed your infographic poster, you can share it with your classmates or present it to the class. Good luck.